Hello, hello, and welcome back to Rev Lexus, the Lexus channel for you. I'm Thomas, and today you join me inside the Lexus LBX. And I kind of want to talk about Lexus design language because if anybody's been watching this channel for a while, you may be aware that last year I purchased the Lexus LC500H. This is the Lexus LBX, and it's the smallest Lexus currently offered, at least launched here in the UK. And it's kind of like Toyota Yaris size uh, kind of crossover. And what I wanted to talk about is not really the car itself, but kind of the design elements that differ from the LC. Because the LC is a flagship for Lexus, it's kind of getting phased out across the globe at the moment. And this LBX is kind of ushering in some design elements that I've noticed that are different um, in comparison to other Lexus models. Um, so the first thing off the bat is the badge. Um, the front badge is now on the bonnet or the hood if you're watching in North America. And you'll notice it's not got the emblem around it, so it's not backed by like a black bit of plastic or in my case of the hybrid, it's had the blue um, behind it as well, which um, just something I've kind of noticed is now different placement and a slightly different look. Um, the overall front face of the car, I guess, car's design um, changes and this is kind of more in line with the TX that you get in North America as well with kind of like a smiley looking face with the headlights kind of integrated into the front. So with that integration at the front with the headlights meeting the grill and the kind of bumper and that kind of little slick um, look with the little kind of line. I did put my fingers on there but it's just solid plastic. I thought maybe it was like a little ear gap just like they have in the LC and uh, the LFA but it's not. Um, I wonder if the new like NX and RX and EF and all that will start to look like the LBX. Um, on the rear of the car it does say Lexus spaced out which is not too new um, in comparison to maybe things like the second generation uh, NX that kind of debuted that, that kind of Lexus spread across the rear instead of the badge um, which is something I noticed. Internally in the car what we do have is the Lexus screen is now kind of integrated into the middle of the dash and lowered down which allows the air vents to be above it and kind of a more streamlined look at top. This kind of is reminiscent to what the second generation Lexus IS had had an IS250 years ago and that was an integrated screen much like the RX back in the day and the, the SE430 had was a little bit taller but still kind of integrated now it's all down here we've got the air vents above it and the screen's just lowered down it's just something i've noticed and i think with all the other lexus at the moment like you think like the ux the es the rx and all them the screens are like more eye level and upright whereas this is like down and centered so i wonder if that's something they're going to incorporate for future lexus models um i also think what's here to stay are these touch capacitive buttons on the steering wheel you run your fingers over them and it links to the heads up display and you can cycle things through like my driver assistance, voice commands, radio, etc. I do think it's a good kind of piece of technology in terms of I can see, you know, eyes aren't off the road and I can see what I'm changing. Um, and that was my first experience that in the RZ last year, uh, this LBX has it. So I do think that's probably going to continue on for the current next generation of Lexus models. Same thing for this little kind of shifter down here, kind of reminds me of the LC shifter, um, which I know some people's like the Sophia shifter, but just the, it not being the big grab handle that you got in the UX250 or the ES300, um, I know it's got like the little kind of dinky little shifter like towards and down for drive. And that's kind of probably the main talking points that I've noticed. Um, yes, you're going to notice things like the door handles here, at touch of a button they are touch like a touch electric button and you can pull it twice towards you to manually um, open it and the door switches as well I've got a newer design and a kind of different feel to other Lexus models I've been in um, maybe I've just been blind and not noticed that in like the <laughs> well, the RZ and things like that that I've been in it's definitely nothing like the LC's um, switch gear and I don't know if that's going to be in other Lexus models or not um, I'm just curious what's going to happen there uh, but yes that's kind of my two, two cents on this kind of topic hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative comment below what you think is going to be kind of carrying over into other Lexus models going forward really cool to hear that um, and before I end this video I just remembered from my LBX other LBX video this screen that we've got in front of us now I believe it's 8 inches 
is like fully digital kind of cockpit. Previously we had like kind of a smaller, I don't know, six inch screen or something like that, like the RZ had and the NX. This is now like two gauges kind of digital, more in line with maybe what you see from the Germans. Um, so I would be excited to see that across. But I do still love actually the, the LC and the RCF and all these kind of products have with the bezel that physically moves. I think that's really cool, but I know that's probably a bit worn out in terms of design language, but I really like it. But yeah, that is worth noting as well. So as always, stay safe. Comment below what your thoughts are, what's going to stay, what's going to go, and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching Live Lexus. Ciao.